What's up, Smashers? This is Zeepo coming at you with another SSBM training tips video. This one is going to be on Sheik and uh, particularly the Shino stall, how to do it, how to practice it, why it's useful, and uh, most importantly, like the exact inputs on how to do it if you're having trouble with it. So, what Sheik Shino stall is, is her invincible up B ledge stall, which uh, since she's invincible, she can't be hit by any attacks. And it puts out the up B hitbox so that anybody who's standing at the ledge trying to edge guard you, standing too close, is going to get hit and pushed back by it. So it's super useful for that reason. Uh, it's not it's not like an impossibly invincible ledge stall where the ledge is yours, nobody can touch you, and the game just ends. Uh, people can come up to you and wave dash back and steal the ledge or like run off and turn themselves around and steal the ledge uh, in lots of different ways. So particularly useful against some opponents like if you're if it's like really like peach has like a tough time getting through the chino stall not impossible though everybody in the cast can do it and uh and then characters like marth and like the space animals chic uh most most characters have a pretty easy time stealing the ledge but if somebody's trying to edge guard you or thinks you're going to come up with something um doing the chino stall is a really great option so how it works i'll zoom in for a second here and hopefully we don't all get motion sickness by one player mode uh how to do it the first input is down, the second input is, is up. Uh, on the analog stick, I find to be the easiest method. Uh, the third input is up B, and then the fourth input is down, and then kind of semi input is letting go of down, because if you don't let go of down, Sheik's going to mess the ledge like that, and you're going to die. Much like how Fox and Falco can up B to the ledge uh, from a downward angle, like 45 degrees downwards, uh, Sheik can do that with her Shino stall, but the trick is to let go of down the angle at which you're doing your up B so that you can grab the ledge. And if you don't let go of down, you're going to miss the ledge. So uh, pressing down is particularly interesting because you'll notice how far Sheik falls, how the kind of the speed at which Sheik is falling from the ledge when I'm pressing down. That's because I'm doing a fast fall after I press down. I'm not holding I'm not holding down the analog stick. I'm just tapping down the analog stick. And if you tap it down, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but if you tap it down for too long or too fast or something like that, uh, Sheik will enter a fast fall versus the opposite, which would be to press away. Uh, and you can also use C stick for these, but I wouldn't recommend it. Really, no reason to. Uh, some people do though. Whatever, whatever works best for you. And pressing away, Sheik kind of just gently falls from the ledge, and you can see. It's a much different timing. Sheik just kind of gently lets go versus the fast fall where Sheik really quickly starts uh, descending. So that's the first step. Use whichever one's useful to you. But I would suggest doing pressing down because it's going to it's gonna put your up B hitbox right at the ledge. I'm going to throw on the, the hitbox hurtbox mode here. So right now Sheik is yellow so she can be hit. Red is her hurtboxes so you can see when she up B's there's a big circular hitbox on her up B. So you can see when you do it, when I'm doing it correctly, Sheik is blue the entire time. She's invulnerable. She can't be hit by anything. And that big fat red hitbox is right at the ledge. So look at that big hitbox. If someone's trying to like edge guard you, super useful, kind of neat, cool looking, great game. So putting that right there is when I'm pressing down. But when I press away, at least, I go way up here. So say you wanted to hit someone up there with Pacino stall, then this would be the situation to use it. But aside from that, if you're just trying to... If you're just trying to wait for your one opportunity to get off the ledge safely, I would recommend using down analog stick to initiate the Shino stall as it's going to usually, without too much effort, put that hitbox right at the ledge, especially if you practice a lot at it. And then the third variation is, uh, it's not that. The third variation is, uh, it's kind of doing your Shino stall out. That's not it either. That's, that's let go chain is doing it like this where you you do the shino stall kind of far away from the ledge which i don't think is very useful because you're not putting that hitbox in like a threatening part of the stage like this right here is where nobody's going to be able to get to you or hit or hurt you and you're putting out like a threatening hitbox versus not that again I haven't practiced that other variation because i don't think it's very useful and then just like how the space animals have a million different angles there's a million different ways to pretty much do the shino stall and different heights at it uh if you do it too low Sheik will like kind of, kind of. If you do your double jump too late like that, you risk being too low to like angle your up B, and then you're kind of screwed, and you have to up B high, like that, and then you're really hurting bad. So definitely something worth practicing. You don't want to mess it up. Now I'm gonna throw on some computers to like attack me at the ledge, and uh, it's just like food for thought or something like that. But. Uh, 
I hope they can. I hope this works. But basically, if you're on the ledge doing your shield stall and people aren't opting to steal the ledge from you, they can't do anything. You're just you're just invulnerable forever, and nobody's ever gonna get to you. And you can just do it throughout all the chaos, unless of course Bowser rolls. And then uh, probably the ultimate practice technique for this, kind of silly, but useful nonetheless, would be if you go to Brinstar Depths. I can't find it. If you go to Brinstar Depths, okay, Planet Zeebs Brinstar. Then you'll notice that uh, the stage will like descend into lava at some point, and you can just you can do it on this ledge or the other ledge, and just kind of wait for the lava to come down, and you can shield stall invincibly through the lava the entire time. Uh, if the lava comes up right now, I'll keep the video going, but I don't imagine it's gonna get there anytime soon. So this has been Epo SSBN training tips with uh, Sheik. All right, is, it, is our time to shine? No, no, it's not close enough. All right, I'm gonna keep doing it, and hopefully we get to the lava. All right, I think I'm being trolled by the lava. Nope, no, no, it's our time to shine. All right, I fucked it up. But essentially, that's the deal. You can do the Shino stall in the lava, and it just kind of proves that Sheik is invincible throughout the entire duration of the Shino stall, and that's why it's such a good, useful technique. No way I'm gonna get this. All right. Yeah, if you get really good at it, you can do it uh, without looking there. There's a match with like Mijuu King versus Kage where they like friendly to Brent, to Brent Star, and he's able to do it. So, let me know what you guys think of the video, and uh, let me know what character videos you want to see. I really, really want to stick to like uh, the high tiers, particularly Sheik, Fox, and Marth. Uh, Marth mainly. The next video is probably going to be Marth versus Falco and dealing with the Falco lasers. So, uh, happy practicing the Shino stall, guys. Super useful technique for all you Sheiks out there. Definitely worth the training and getting good at. Good luck, guys.